Zion National Park is located in southwestern Utah near the town of Springdale. It's one of America's most popular national parks and for good reason. It is absolutely stunning. Zion Canyon is the main tourist section of the park. The park entrance is just north of Springdale and from there you can head up Zion Canyon Scenic Drive to access all the famous trailheads such as the Emerald Pools, Angel's Landing, and of course, my favorite, the Zion Narrows. The aptly named Narrows is the narrowest section of Zion Canyon. The walls in the gorge can reach nearly a thousand feet tall, and the river width shrinks down in places to just 20 feet. It's breathtaking and is one of the most popular areas in Zion for good reason. The Narrows trailhead starts at the end of Zion Canyon Scenic Drive at the Temple of Sinawaba. This is referred to as the bottom up day hike and it's the most common option to experience the Narrows. Most people go anywhere from two to 10 miles round trip, depending on how deep into the gorge you want to go and if you want to check out Orderville Canyon as well, which is a fun side trip. You can make your Narrows experience anywhere from a short casual meander to a full day affair by traveling all the way to the Big Springs turnaround point and back. The first mile of the trail is a paved pathway called Riverside Walk. The paved path terminates at the gateway to the Narrows, and that is where it's time to start getting wet. Although there are a few short sections of the canyon where you can walk up on land if you choose, there's no dry trail into the canyon. You just hop into the Virgin River and start exploring. This was my second trip into the Narrows, and just like the last time I was visiting in December. Naturally, that means the Virgin River is not warm. During the popular summer months, you can walk right into the water in a t-shirt, shorts, and hiking shoes, but traipsing through the river in winter requires a bit more preparation. There are quite a few outfitters in the area who can assist with this. I use the Zion Adventure Company. They'll rent you the essentials for winter river hiking, a Gore-Tex dry suit, canyon shoes, neoprene socks, and a hiking pole. Here I am in my rented gear. This photo is actually from my 2015 hike since I neglected to take any photos of myself this time around, but the gear is the same. The only part of your body that gets wet in this gear are your feet. It's a bit of a shock at first, but those neoprene socks do a pretty good job of maintaining heat once the water seeps in and settles. Make sure to properly layer underneath the dry suit, and even if you're a hiker like me who doesn't ordinarily use hiking poles, make sure you take this one. I cannot emphasize that enough. I can't tell you how many times during both of my hikes that simple wooden pole saved me and my cameras from absolute disaster. You can expect the water to mostly be anywhere from ankle deep to waist deep, although there are possible deeper pools after you pass the Orderville Canyon turnoff. If you're like me and had a shuttle to catch on the way out, keep in mind that your hike in will take a fair bit longer than your hike out, since the return trip is going with the current instead of against. Lastly, before you head out, make sure to check the weather report. Flash floods can and do happen in the Narrows. Safety first. Okay, let's go exploring. Or, woo! Aha, almost went down on that one. I'm only fallen once so far. Which for this trip, for this trail rather, it's pretty good. This walking stick probably saved about a dozen falls. I won't do this hike without the walking stick. Oh, it's nice and bright. All right, we've reached our turnaround point in Zion Narrows. It gets deep over there and I didn't put my dry suit on right, so I can't go very much further. Got our motor gear on. But yeah, I think it's kind of more of the same down there. I was hoping I got to a spot called Wall Street where I was last time I did this, but I guess the third time will be the charm to revisit Wall Street. Okay. So go the walk back should be a little easier because I'm now going with the current, but the only problem is that now the current's going to be pushing me forward when sometimes I don't want to go as fast as the current wants. All right. Oh, this walking stick is a lifesaver. I 
missed it on the way here because I was walking too fast. Huh. So actually, I think I went farther this time than I did last time. Oh, more people. Very cool. I can't believe I didn't see this on the way down here. I feel like an idiot. Oh well. coming back but yeah that's where I went all the way down there thanks for exploring the Zion Narrows with me today for those of you who've explored the canyon during the other seasons let me know in the comments what you thought of your experience please give this video a like as it really helps and for more fun outdoor adventures please subscribe hope to see you soon